So hey everybody, it's Ilks here, and welcome back to some more Guild Wars 2. In the last part, we uh, created our character and uh, started up our, the game. Uh, before we start, um, before we really start anything, uh, I'm going to explain some things on the map. So, anytime you see this green marker, uh, that means that's where you have to go for your next uh, story quest. These are waypoints, you can teleport to them from anywhere in the map. However, the further away you are from a waypoint, the more it will cost you. For example, this one's four, that one's four, but we're both in range. But if I were to teleport over here, it would be like 50 um, copper. These are uh, merchants. They're scattered everywhere. Uh, the broken, looks like a shield, is a uh, equipment repair. For a small cost, you can uh, repair your armor. Your armor gets damaged every time you fall in combat. Um, this here, anytime you see a white square with a uh, orange square inside of it, that means there is a uh, point of interest, which are these. You can get uh, experience for finding them. Skill challenges, which are uh, these things here. You can get uh, a skill point from them, so you can teach your character a new skill. Um, and then these are vistas, which you can watch a little clip with a camera that pans around the area for experience and map completion. Once you complete an area in a map, you can get a load of stuff for it. So uh, merchants, you talk to them. You can buy what they sell, or you can sell things that you have. Currently, we don't have Thank anything. You. Um, and if you guys are playing Guild Wars, uh, if you want to give me a bit of money, in the game, that is, uh, my server that I'm on is called Ferguson's Crossing. Um, we can see here, Fer Ferguson's Crossing, uh, you can just go to the mail tab, mail something to Xylol, um, I'll say something in chat so you can see how it's spelled. Hello. Caps lock. Whoa. That's how you spell Zywool if you want to donate anything. But yeah, so let's start working to get level 3, maybe even 4. Um, now, we have to be, well, we don't have to be, but you can see here level 3 is the uh, recommended level for this. So we're going to go do some quests. Oh, another thing I forgot to show on the map is uh, if you see a heart don't see any but they would look like this uh, that means it's like a quest uh, once you get in range of a quest uh, you automatically begin doing it and once you fill up the quest meter um, you complete the quest for experience and you also turn the NPC that gave you the quest into a merchant which is pretty cool nice so yeah I'm just kinda looking around for something to do um, here some fighting over here, so maybe there'll be a quest. We can read the tombstones, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, see, so yeah, let's fight these bats with this guy. Um, easy. Too easy. Let's take out these bats. We got, wow, a good weapon. So, let's. This is way better than what we have. And we still get to have the war horn. Now, with every weapon, there's a different set of skills. Um, so we have three different skills here now that we can use because we've equipped a scepter over the uh, the war horn that we had. An unfamiliar place. Kind of dark here, but still visible, I guess. Um, let's see. I have a feeling there's gonna be some stuff down here. Got a door. Knock on the door. Hang on, the door appears to be locked. You can barely make out the sounds of whispered conversations and heavy boots. The noise behind the door stopped abruptly. There's muffled shh and then silence. Yeah, let's go avoid that place. Um <laughs> very eerie. Oh wait, um, forgot to do something, uh, options, sound options, master volume, let's turn that down a bit, uh, turn down, 
Thanks. Okay. It's kind of hard to hear now. Uh, maybe the music up a bit. Because music's very good in this game. I am a big fan of it. It's just the sound effects can get pretty loud, as we saw in the last video. Um, it can get very loud very quickly. So, I haven't gained a bit of experience, and we're still just wandering around. So, let's go... Let's go do something productive. Right. Okay. Um. Don't know what to do. There aren't any quests. Well, tasks. I say we go down here and uh, check out that vista to get a bit of experience. And then maybe we'll move uh, further south, I guess, is the way we're going now. Don't enter the garrison until you've trained some more. It's fierce fighting past Don't the enter the garrison until you've trained some more. Well, guess what? Don't care. I want that. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a level 6 quest, so... Kill centaurs, destroy uh, centaur siege weapons, help fallen seraph, and collect lost trinkets. Um... I don't think this is necessarily going to be the best quest for us to do right now. Uh, rather task. I'm gonna keep saying that, aren't I? So let's go check out this vista. Um... Wait, can we... Oh, this helps the Seraph every time I fire one of these things. Um. Alright. So let's go fire these things over here. This one's unmanned. So we can fire this one. Doesn't give us a lot of the, uh, quest amount. But, decent amount. So, the Vista is right over here. As we can tell by the two triangles. Now, you can either watch these, or you can just close them. You get the experience either way. 78 experience. Decent amount. Um, bringing us further up on our um, experience bar. So, if we look now, uh, I think we'll want to go to Divinity's Reach. So, we can explore there and get um, some quests out of the way. Well, not quests, but uh, we can get some... What would you call it? Uh, waypoints. That's it. And if we get waypoints, waypoints give you a bunch of experience. So, I uh, guess we can do a bit of exploration. And then, um, then we'll be able to do our story quest, which is talk to Watchman Rebecca. Or Rebecca. Going pretty slow. This is a chain effect, so you poison your foe, you bleed your foe, and then you bleed your foe again. Or you bleed, bleed, poison, I think is the the way that it goes. Not exactly sure, but we'll find out. Um, depending on which one to start with. So yeah, this is Divinity's Reach, the starting area for the human race. Um, there are 20 points of interest, 6 w vistas, and 13 waypoints. We have 11 waypoints to go. I do want to get or uh, complete a lot of the map because if you do, you can get um, tons of experience for that and good loot, especially armor. <sighs> da, 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 da. Takes forever for this to load sometimes. <laughs> All right, so let's get a move on. Let's see, so there's some point of interest this way. There's a waypoint that way. I say we just go straight to the center, and then start branching off from there, unless we can get that point of interest right there, right off the bat. Um, oh yeah, there are different levels on this, so this is going to be confusing. There is a waypoint coming up here, so we can get that out of the way. Um, there's one right there, and there's one right there, so let's get the... Uh, Ministers waypoint or minister minister yeah ministers. Why are you on so early? Me. I'm record recording. Say hello to YouTube. Okay. Um. Probably can't read that if you're not watching this in HD. So I would highly suggest you watch it in HD because then you'll be able to see uh, the things I type 
and the names of people, I guess, if you want to see their names. Um, where's that waypoint? Guild register. Yeah, I'm already in a guild, so it's called Crimson Valor, as I said the last time. Why are you on so early? Okay, yeah, so as you can see, we got 60 w er, experience just for walking around, so this game is highly rewarding for exploring. Um, let's see, where's that vista? Vistas are usually high up, and you sometimes have to do a jumping puzzle to get to them. Um, this, this place does look really nice, Divinity's Reach. I haven't had much time to explore it on my other characters, because this is the first human character I have. Um, but yeah, we get a hundred experience for those waypoints, so those are definitely worth your time. Um, a lot of them are sometimes even more, and they're weapon uh, vendors here, and armor vendors, crafting criers and people like that. Uh, but we're, we can't actually do crafting until I believe we're level 10. We might do a bit of that, but I'm not going to focus my time on crafting. Uh, I know it's a great way to level up fast. But I really want to spend uh, more time leveling up through exploration and quests and all that fun stuff. But yeah, just look at this place. For $60, one payment, this place is amazing. I mean, the graphics are good. You have individual characters that have their own lifestyles that you could even, like, interact with them and follow them. <laughs> People are asking about Halo 4. This person has a May speed boost inspired. for us. Um, yeah, so we want to inc increase our ferocity because that's what we went with at the beginning. So there's a vista over here. Um, there it is. It's on top of that. Looks like an aqueduct. So I think... See, this is the fun thing about vistas. You have to figure out how to get them. If we jump down there, we're gonna die. So let's go. Um, let's go down this way. And yes, I am getting Halo 4. Um, <laughs> for those of you watching, I think if we go up here, it'll give us a better shot at getting atop that aqueduct or aqueduct or really whatever this is. Colonnade, I guess you could say. Um... I'm not sure if I will. He probably doesn't have an Xbox. What a noob. How long do we have the speed bonus for? Ooh, five minutes. Well, we have four minutes left, but it's a five minute speed boost, so. Oh man, we gotta make a jump, guys. Oh yeah, hardcore. And then, this isn't really a jumping puzzle, but we do have to jump. There are some pretty interesting jumping puzzles for vistas and waypoints and merchants and. Wow! <laughs> wow. We didn't even have to go this way. Ah, uh, whatever. Maybe if I'd been... Stop going. Ah, uh, okay. Let's hop. Hop. There we are. Let's, uh... Do that. And Vista. Yeah, so these give you a really nice view of the area you're in. Uh, really cinematic. As it zooms out. I mean, this game, there's so much effort into this. It is amazing. I probably won't play it much, though. I mean, I'll probably get Halo 4, play it for a while, and then go back to <laughs> whatever I do, like TF2, Minecraft, Guild Wars, all that stuff. Okay, so let's... Just jump down there because we won't take any damage from that. I'm digging the white hair. Now that I think about it though, instead of the uh I should replace the black with red and then replace the purple with the black. Well the grey, I guess you could call it. Because that would just look pretty cool. I mean black and red, but hey, I still look pretty cool anyways. Man, this game is too addicting. Yep. Oh, what did I do? Um Whatever, I'll figure, I'll figure that out later. Um, gee, I'm wasting so much time on this. Okay, we're not gonna do this now. We're just gonna teleport there. 
to the Shymore waypoint and we're gonna do this story quest um so I can get that out of the way and do that we'll probably um I might do the exploration of Divinity's Reach well some of it off screen because it is a very large area and uh as I said I will be doing some stuff off screen but uh all the levels will be on screen um but if I'm just doing like exploration it's gonna like take the up fields the fields beyond Shamor are Krita's breadbasket. Since the centaur attack, citizens are trying to rebuild their lives. But it's tough with bandits and dangerous wildlife roaming the area. Don't wait for an invitation. Jump in and help them. Alright, so as he says, we have to um go and do a task. Now this is actually pretty cool because part of the storyline now is that we have to go help one of these people. Now we'll be able to do them all but I think what's going to be happening is, happening is we'll go help one of them but then like whichever one we help will be part of our storyline so that will decide something for us. We can do them all however um, I'm not sure all of them will affect our storyline. See, so yeah, we're halfway there. It's level three. Um, so let's just help out Farmer not Daya by watering corn, stomping worm mounds, feeding cattle, and defending the fields. So, um, flatten, whoops, flatten the worm mound. And that, I knew that was going to happen. Let's take out this worm easy the tiny thing uh, let's feed this guy here feed there we are the thing I like about these quests is like for WoW I mean an NPC talks to you he says okay go go kill all these and then um, bring me back what they drop in Guild Wars you actually do stuff for a reason like, we're feeding the cows because the farmer needs help, like, with the farm. We're, like, the f we're flattening worm rounds so that way, um, the worms don't eat the crops and stuff. Like, you do everything for a reason. And it, it just makes questing in Guild Wars more fun because, like, you're just like, oh man, I helped that person. Let's see. Summon skeletal hands. Oh, those look pretty cool. Okay, so what do we have to do? Water the corn. So where's the corn? I'm actually just gonna put this down and just flatten the worm mounds so we can uh, unlock more uh, of our skills. Because we still have to learn the two warm war horn skills. So let's just flatten these worm mounds. There comes the worm. Um, and this kind of attack is whenever I activate it, it gives me that little circle that you saw, and I can place it on the ground to uh, attack. So, for example, click it, gives me the circle, place it down by clicking again, and then use my uh, One more thing for blood my list curse of accomplishments. attack. Let's take all those. We are doing pretty well on experience. We're almost to level three, and then we'll probably be ending off the video. Ah, come here, you worm. Wow, we killed that guy really fast. Probably because that ranger came to help me out. The thing I like about rangers is they get all these pets that they can use at any time. And they're able to use the pets whenever they want. That's why a ranger is my main character. You guys saw actually the creation of that character. I have a video in it. Uh, it should video on it. It should be in the same playlist. Oh, let's just kill this Mela. Come here. Uh, it's it's like uh, a Sora beginning or something. Guild Wars 2. No, uh, that's the name of the video. It'll be in the playlist though of this video. Um, all my Guild Wars videos will be in one playlist. So let's put down the feed. Bye. Ah! Didn't mean to open up the chat again. Just ah no, he got on the ground. Oh yes, we got him right before he did. Okay, so. We finished that task, giving us a boatload of experience, and then we got uh, mail, which gave us 45 copper, 
it's awesome. We now have one silver. It's not what and you then... think. I'm not asking for money. Come find me when you get back on your feet. I'll be waiting for you in your neighborhood. And I've got a business proposition that I know you're going to want in on. See you soon, okay? Quinn. So that guy tells us we have to uh, do some stuff. And we've completed this task. So um, apparently, I guess that does not affect, or the task doesn't affect the storyline, whichever one we choose. But we are going to go uh, finish up the rest of these tasks here. Um, well, at least as many as it will take. Uh, let's get this worm guy. Okay, so let's fight these river drakes. Um, give us a bit more experience. Uh, what does this do? Strike your target dealing additional damage, then gain life force. One more thing for my list of accomplishments. So we got an achievement for daily kill variety, which is awesome. Um, love those achievements. They give you a bit of experience every now and then. Uh, let's take out this worm. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Something about, um, I don't know. So, catch traps for hostile cre creatures, break the drake eggs, kill the drakes, and scale in the river. Alright, so let's feast on that guy. Let's, uh, check traps. Kill the river drake. So we are now helping Fisherman Travis and Fisherman Justin. Which is cool. Um, well, let's help this guy over here. Looks like he's in some trouble. Oh no. Well, she had it. Not a guy. Uh, so we got a uh, new point of interest discovered, giving us more experience. I feel like everything you do in this game gives you experience, which is just awesome. Let's go uh, grab this waypoint really fast after we kill this Drake here. Come on, let's feast on him, get his loot. Almost level 3, we are so close. Uh, let's just hit up that waypoint there, which is not too far away. And then we'll go back and finish up that uh, task down there. Chicken! Yeah! Alright, now let's head back that way. Let's kill this worm. For our daily kill progress achievement. Where is he gonna come up? Come here, you. Feast on him. Take him out. Nice. Oh, we got boots. Can we use these? Ah, oh, we can. And they're better than the ones we have. Oh, those look much nicer, too. Like the way those One look. More thing for my list of awesome! So we reached uh, level 3. And I apparently helped with some event that I didn't even participate in. Um, and we got a focus. Is that better than our Warhorn? 127 to 140. 130. Hmm. I think we are going to equip the focus. Because it looks better. Even though this one can reach a max attack of 140, this one has a higher minimal attack. So, we're going, in the long run, we'll be doing more damage. So, alright, we have reached, reached, reached level 3. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Probably just going to finish off this quest off screen. Uh, you get the gist of what's going on here. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Zilix, as always, and I'll see you guys next time. K-Tanks, bye.